Good evening. It's been a long time. I didn't even realize the amount of time that it's been between uh, my last post and now. But um kind of goes with the overall theme of what I was wanting to talk about. Um, so I also started dialysis a couple of weeks ago, uh, started with training and that went well. I had to ask, stop. I had to miss work for a week. I had to ascertain all of this information that had been thrown at me um, in a clinic and uh, and then be expected to take the machine home and apply it in real life, IRL. And when it's setting up a TV or something like that, that's one thing, but um, you know, this is this is uh, your livelihood. Um, so just a, a little uh, higher stakes, if that makes sense. Um, and the second night that I had done it uh, on my own, um, in, in my own home, I was expected to be down um, at my sister's wedding that I was in. Hey, stop. And I was contemplating driving down and driving back to Portland um, because I had just gotten it set up in my house uh, where it's at right now. And I thought so early on in the process, would it be smart to be uh, moving it and uh, and traveling with it like uh, like like the Ringling Brothers or something? But um, ultimately, I'm glad that I did. Uh, I stayed in a hotel um, and I was able to um, focus on my sister's wedding, uh, which was incredible um, and um, and be a, be a big part of that and, and enjoy that. Um, while also, um, having to, to, to apply these, um, steps, very strategic, uh, medical, um, uh, sanitary steps. Um, and, and I had to do it in a hotel room. Um, but ultimately, I think that was a good idea because it forced me to think um, critically and um, it, it forced me to really learn the process. Um, and uh, since then, I've, I've been back in my home and um, been able to um, uh, successfully complete my, my exchanges every night, Husk. <laughs> Jeez, bud. And, um, and it's been good. My biggest, uh, issue is, um, some of my, uh, bathroom behavior. I'm, I'm quite far from the bathroom. I'm not able to just, um, you know, go to the bathroom in the night. Um, so that has disrupted me a few times um and i've had to uh be creative with uh where i'm draining my excess fluid so i um elaborated on the toilet <laughs> well, not while i was on the toilet but i essentially uh made my own toilet so We'll go into this in a future video, but um, basically, my machine's name is Bleem Blom, and that is because of the sound that it makes. Um, no gender, 
no gender necessary. And this is kind of my makeshift clinic, um, my check checklist down here. And, uh, and the drain bags um, are wasteful. So I, um, and I'm not able to uh, connect all the way to the toilet. So that's my toilet. <clears throat> Only for solution, not for potty. Okay, so the other piece that I was talking about uh, originally is the time management piece. At this point, we are learning my body still. We are figuring out how it's reacting to the solution. Um, we are figuring out everything. It's like, it's like learning life in a sense, kind of all over again. And, um, it's tricky. So at this point we started at about nine hours on the machine. Um, and that was too long. I, I was late for work pretty much every day the last couple of weeks. Um, my first week's checkup went well. Um, I'm, I'm recording my vitals every more, every night, um, and, uh, and reporting them. Uh, they need me to do it in three different locations. It's, it's kind of crazy, but, um, I get it. Um, and I am complying just with everything that they're asking uh, me to do. So, um, at this point, they've knocked it down to uh, eight hours from nine. Um, so that helps, but it's just this crazy thing. Like, it is pretty late right now, and if I'm not hooked up and on the machine uh, within the next hour, um, it throws my whole day off uh, tomorrow. So it's, uh, it, it's just I am traditionally not the guy who um, wakes up in the morning and reads the paper or um, anything like that. I roll out of bed, I brush my teeth, sometimes I shower and I go to work. Um, but uh, but that was that was the old uh, uh, ritual or whatever routine and uh, and now I just need to uh, continue to train myself um, and not be, um, I think as hard as I've been being on myself for um, being late and um, for not, it's like, it's just, it's just so new and I have to be okay with that. Um, the other night I was just thinking how until if I'm fortunate enough to get new guts, um, new organs, nothing will ever be the way it once was. I will, um, I will have this tube in me, um, or I won't if it doesn't work out, but either way, I'm going to need dialysis for the rest of my time leading up to the transplant. Even once I get the transplant, my life will not be the same as it once was. Um, and I was kind of lamenting in that. And I know that that's not healthy. Um, but at the same time, I've learned through past experiences uh, that to let my emotions live and breathe and okay maybe not dwell on them and and turn them into something they don't need to be but um but just to at least acknowledge them and um and try to work through them and 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 chew on it and 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 see after dissecting it where it will get me um so uh, that's kind of where I've been. I know this is a pretty long video. It, it's been it's been too long. Um, I'm not feeling the greatest today. I'm really sluggish, and um, they actually, based on my vitals, um, they asked me to take a more concentrated solution 
um, at night rather than 1.5 dextrose, I'm doing 2.5% dextrose um, pumping through my, my body. Um, so uh, hopefully that will remove uh, my, uh, what they call it is fluid overload. So um, just hoping to, uh, <laughs> they're so cute, hoping to uh, figure this out, get feeling better, and um and and keep this keep this show moving um i believe it was the one of the last videos that i had posted um i had mentioned something about not having the um gumption to look at my exit site um in my week of training, my nurse, Sonia, um, basically just like made me cowboy up. And, um, and fortunately I, I am now past that. I've looked at it. I've cleaned it every day. Um, and, um, and I mean, it's still weird. I, I don't like doing it. But it's not, uh, it's not, it's not the thing that I had built it into being. Um, so that's good. Um, I have to continue to meet with Sonia every week, um, at least for the next couple of weeks. Um, but to this point, I have checked every box that my transplant team has asked me to do. I am just waiting for Shukri, the amazing, incredible Shukri, uh, my nephrologist, to um, kind of tell me where we're at and, uh, and hopefully, uh, gain some communi <clears throat> excuse me, communication with, uh, my transplant team and, and just see, um, what else I have to do to be on the list. Um, cause that's basically my, my short term goal at this point is to, um, make it onto this, um, ever elusive wait list. So other than that, um, just going to do my best to um, refine this process and um, not beat myself up over um, not being on time and not having my things in line that I'm used to being in control of. Um, it's it's tough, but channeling channeling the the right energy and the the um, the positivity rather than the, um, the negative, uh, you know, list of I can't, um, that's, that's kind of where I'm trying to focus on. So I appreciate everyone's, uh, prayers and, um, and thoughts and, oh, big, big thing that I have yet to mention. Um, it was done without any of my input or, um, really even me asking. Um, and I'm super grateful and couldn't be more, um, thankful and appreciative. Um, I apparently was, uh, um, the recipient of a GoFundMe and, um, my grandfather kind of, uh, spearheaded that papa thank you very much and um my my family and loved ones and friends kind of banded uh around me and raised the um very very close to the four thousand dollars um that my transplant team needs in a savings account um just to qualify to be on the the wait list um insurance is a piece that i haven't fully gotten into we will in the future and um, I'll go into a little bit deeper um, uh, of uh, just at least my experience with with that. Um, my uh, employer's insurance does not cover uh, a double kidney and pancreas, excuse me, double organ transplant, kidney and pancreas. Um, so that leaves me out um, shaking my thing on the street corner looking for new guts. So I really, really appreciate everyone um, who contributed. You guys mean the world to me. Um, and I wish that I could buy 
each of and every one of you individual beautiful roses roses are kind of cheesy maybe not roses sunflowers sunflowers that's better anyways all right guys um also on my list of to-dos i will be setting up a tutorial from start to finish point a to point z on how to connect to Blim Blom, the cycler. That's going to be fun. I just want to make sure that I am proficient and confident in my approach. It has to be very clean, sanitary, um, and I don't want to risk uh, peritonitis. If you don't know what that is, Google it. I will also um, do my best to... Uh, <laughs> accomplish my time management goals and uh and find the time to post uh more here and uh and also post some uh informational uh, educational content such as what is peritonitis um all right i love you guys i look forward to uh your feedback and uh and more um uh interaction with each uh and every one of you guys you are um, always on my heart the way that my black dog, as I mentioned uh, in a previous post, uh, is always in the back of my head. Um, uh, you guys are always here as well. So thank you. Forever grateful, forever yours. Let's go.